that Charlie, look, I guess we shouldn't be amazed that politicians are hypocrites. But this is just unbelievable. He's saying well, something that's totally false. I, I could just see how this happened. I think an intern of his probably read it on uh, you know, Twitter or something. Oh, it must be true, Senator. You've got to say this. And all of a sudden, <laughs> the next thing you know, a simple reading of the Constitution could make you know that the Supreme Court does not actually oversee the impeachment proceedings. And, and look, this is what's really happening is they are freaking out because the left, they control education. They control the media. The only vertical that they thought they were going to solidify for the next 100 years if Hillary would have won, is the courts. And this president has now installed 26, that's right, 26 mm -hmm. circuit court judges, the most amount of appellate judges in a president's first 18 months, and now he's going to have two Supreme Court judges that are constitutionalists in nature. The left, this is not according to plan, because yeah. the courts, they wanted to corrupt them with activist, revisionist judges that did not abide by the Constitution. Yes. Kavanaugh and Gorsuch are direct defiance to the left's agenda to redefine America. And Lisa, I mean, the, 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 those, those substantive points are... Uh, are so well made, but let's just for, the, for, the, for a second also just talk about this. He's on the Senate floor. <laughs> He's saying something that is totally false in well, order to make a political point. And yet these are the people who go on and on about the lies and the, and the assault on truth. I mean... Well, I, I think the American people aren't buying in to, you know, this. I mean, look, this wouldn't be the first time that Chuck Schumer lied. I'm surprised he wasn't crying on the Senate floor. Ryan Chuck. <laughs> Demo Democrats Ryan have been, pe like, petulant children right. with Kavanaugh. And the reason being is they can't do anything to stop this from happening. So what they're doing is kicking and screaming, being as loud as possible, right. because they can't, unless Kavanaugh somehow implodes during the confirmation hearing, like, this is happening. And I think you're also going to see Democrats like Joe Manchin, Donnelly Highcamp, mm -hmm. that all voted for Gorsuch, who are also going to get on board on this. You look at polling in their states, majorities of voters in those states, they want Kavanaugh confirmed. And you know what is really disappointing, too? Chuck Schumer won't even sit down no, with him. And Mitch McConnell met with Elena Kagan the first day she was on Capitol Hill. So we've seen obstruction, crying, and just basically Democrats acting like well, children. I, I can't wait for the, 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 the hearings where they're going to say, well, you know, Judge Kavanaugh, we have a lot of concerns about uh, your daughter's basketball record when you were coach of her basketball <laughs> Or the team. national <laughs> No, seriously, and, you, yeah. you, you rung up a lot of credit card debt buying too many yeah. baseball tickets. I mean, this guy has probably lived the cleanest life of any person <laughs> ever to try to be on the, you know, the D.C. Circuit, let alone the Supreme Court. But again, the left has an agenda, and it involves corrupting the courts. And the fact that the president is going full steam ahead and appointing these constitutionalist judges, it, they, they, are, they are actually losing losing their mind. And um, look, it's going to be up to the Republican senators to fulfill their promise to confirm them. You think you'll see some Democrats. Come yeah, I mean, well. it's true, isn't it? Because actually, if you, if you look back, they, you know, they've, they've gotten used to the way in which they've been able to advance their policy agenda through the courts rather than through exactly. winning actual elections. And it looks like that's coming to an end. Well, absolutely. And Charlie's absolutely right in the sense of this, the changes to the judiciary are going to be a lasting legacy of President Trump. Uh, so this is a big deal for Republicans. It's a big deal for President Trump as well. And again, you know, look, the hearing's going to be on September 4th. Like, this is this is happening. He's going to be confirmed again unless he implodes, says something stupid. Uh, this is basically, you know, it's going to happen. Well, yeah. And you look at some of the big decisions. I mean, public sector unions are no longer going to be the same thanks to Neil Gorsuch. President Trump puts Neil Gorsuch in. You had the Janus decision this last June. People are no longer required to be part of public sector unions. That is a... Fifty million dollar annual hit to the Democrat Party. You can now, see. By the way, it's a lot. We, we did something. Up. I think it's more. That's in, in some. That it's that amount of money in some states. That's correct. Yeah, that's Never just mind, the that's, tip, that's, that's right. It's an incredible. You're quite right. That is probably one of the one of the more um, lasting changes. But again, perfectly fair. I mean, this is something that the, rule the, the, the individual should be able to choose. I remember back in the UK. You know, that was something that was a key part of the Thatcher. Uh, back in the 80s, union reforms is to give individual people the opportunity to decide whether they participate. But I think that um, what you'll see, you're, you're quite right. When, when you're just looking at the, re the reporting that's coming out, Susan Collins, who people said at the beginning, well, she may not go with this, being very positive in the sort of signals she's sending. Well, absolutely. And she basically recently came out and said, you know, she's she's going to support him. I mean, so basically, I mean, all, all President Trump, all they need to do is get Republicans solidly behind, which it looks like they are there now. And I think you're going to have Democrats come on board because you look at these red states, people like Joe Manchin is in a state that President Trump won mm -hmm. by 42 points. So they're feeling the pressure from their electorate and trying to please them. So I think you're going to see, you know, at least three Democrats come um, come.
come if, that and, way. And then one last question, Lisa. Is there any um, possibility that you can foresee what, that they use procedures to kind of delay it beyond the election? You know, I've, I've read you know, stuff about requesting all this paperwork. and Are they able to do that? Or do well, the Republicans control the process so they can basically get it done? They've been trying with the paperwork, but they've also turned over more documents from his time with the executive branch than I think any other Supreme Court nominee has before. I mean, there's been a lot of transparency. Also, you look at what over 300 uh, opinions, right? A lot of this information is already public that they could be looking at. So again, the reason why we're seeing this obstruction, the reason why we're seeing the kicking and screaming, the reason why we're seeing so much noise from the Democrats is they know that there's nothing they can do to stop it. And as long as right. as long as President Trump has Republicans behind him in the Supreme Court pick, then you're going to see these other Democrats facing tough reelections also get on board. And it's not going to be far away. Thank you both for that. Very